Hi everyone, welcome back, and welcome to my first little review of a Nikon lens. This will pretty much follow the format of all of my other lens reviews, that is that it will be entirely comprised of favourite photos taken with the lens, without too much commentary about the image quality. The idea is that the pictures should hopefully describe that quite well by themselves. I first bought this lens back in 2013 and I remember taking it to photograph an engagement shoot at St John's College in Cambridge and immediately feeling that somehow my photography had been transformed. I know I hadn't suddenly got better, although maybe I had in a way. By using the lens for the first time, I had learned something. I tried something new and I immediately felt a connection with the pictures. This focal length and this lens has been a favourite ever since. When I'm photographing couples, I might stop the lens down to f2. That shallow depth of field is easy to catch a single person with, but a couple may not always be on the same focal plane, so that's something to at least watch out for. I've used it at nearly every wedding since I bought it, and now I tend to photograph weddings with only this lens and a 35mm lens. It's the lens that I use to photograph the bride as she begins her walk down the aisle, and its autofocus with my D750 has never let me down. It is quite a big lens, and I always use it with the lens hood. However, on my D750 it feels balanced and never a chore to use or carry around with me. Substantial, Certainly not inconspicuous, but a really nice match. A quick word for people thinking about buying this lens, or the Nikon F1.8. I can't offer a comparison for you, but I am happy to say that I love the feel of these pictures. The outer focus areas are beautiful, and it does a great job of the in focus parts too. I'd say that it's sharp, but has some soul. Ansel Adams said the most important part of the camera was what was actually behind it, i.e. the photographer. But what's in front of the camera is pretty important too. If you can't afford the 1.4, get the 1.8 and find some interesting scenes and beautiful light. Neither lens is able to conjure those for you, and they're what really make a picture. I've used the cheaper 1.8 for a short while, and the essence of all of these pictures would remain if they were taken with that lens. But I'm really happy to have put together this collection of pictures. It's not a rare exotic lens or anything, but it has helped to define my style as a wedding photographer, and I now instinctively see the world as if through this focal length. All in all, I'm very fond of it. At a wedding, I'm not one for wide shots that place the couple in front of a grand house. I just need a tree or two and some nice light, and with this lens I have just what I need. I hope seeing these pictures is useful to you. If you have any questions I'll try and answer them in the comments. And if you're interested in following as I explore different lenses, cameras, films, places and ideas, feel free to subscribe, it really helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, see you in the next one.